Alrighty, y'all ready for my December TBR? I know I put out that fall winter TBR video a while ago, but I have some more specific reading goals for the month of December. Also, I apologize for the washer dryer noises. Gotta do what you gotta do. Um, so I'm gonna just go ahead and get into this. I did not get to read these two books in November, so they are going to carry over, and it is a or The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde and Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. Uh, Picture of Dorian Gray is about this guy who is very obsessed with his beauty and ends up making a deal um, where he can live for he, he can live forever and only the painting ages and obviously there's some drama that goes around that. I don't know much more besides that because I haven't actually read this book so yeah woo! I'm excited to read it. Wuthering Heights has been pushed from multiple TBRs, and I'm actually going to for sure read it in early December, hopefully. Um, so I know from when I read this originally, I didn't get much more out of it than there was like these multiple generations of these people that were just horrible to each other and very vindictive, and um, there was drama and pettiness, and it, there was romance, but. Clearly, the, clearly there's supposed to be more to get out of this, so I'm going to try again and let y'all know what I think. Also, because it's December, I'm going to read A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Um, I've seen many plays for this. Basically, this guy is a Scrooge, and uh, which means he's very much about himself and the profits that he makes and stuff like that. And he gets visited by the ghosts of Christmas past, present, and future, and reckons with the horrible person that he is. So, woo! Christmas Carol. I've never actually read the book. This here is a Christmas Stories collection by Charles Dickens. I'm not sure what all stories are in here. I know the Christmas Carol is. Um, it's the Chris a Christmas Carol, The Chimes, The Cricket on the Hearth, The Battle of Life, and The Haunted Man. So I'm going to attempt to read this collection of short stories about Christmas. I don't know much about it, but I'm excited to read it. And I feel like if I like the Christmas Carol and this one, I might re-give Great Expectations another try because I hated it when I had to read it in school. So, Dickens. I got to start in this book in November, for nonfiction November, but it's very dense and I have not finished it yet, so Sapiens will still be being read in December. Uh, additionally, I... I've been wanting to practice my Spanish some more, and I don't know if y'all saw the videos back mid-original round of the pandemic, so I think like June or something. I've read another book by Isabel Allende in Spanish, and this one is Largo Petalo de Mar, and uh, I love the cover. It's beautiful. I need to practice my Spanish because I, when I don't interact with anybody, I don't get to use it, funny enough, um, and I never was like super fluent in Spanish I can just get by so I'm hoping that reading this in December helps and I'm choosing December because I'll have a lot more time because I have a lot of vacation um, just all automatically given by my place of work so basically um, this occurs this book is set during the Civil War in Spain, Spain and um, I probably should have re read the back of this before I started talking because it's gonna take me a minute but Isabel Allende typically writes romance books with um, magical real realism, at, like fantastical elements sprinkled on in there. So they go to Chile at some point, and yeah, I'm excited to read it. It looks pretty, and it's the self, the historical fiction aspect of it sounds fun to me. Um, I got this at Half Price Books. And I've not read anything by Ruth Ware, so I'm going to read In a Dark Dark Wood by her. I don't know much about it, except for that it's set in a cozy wood, and a weekend that should be fun and relaxing. Ends up not being, because there's drama and murder, probably. Yeah. And I'm going to read the first book in this trilogy, I believe. It's called Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer. It's a post-apocalyptic world setting, and... You follow this team of four women scientists or other um, 
So it's a anthropologist, a surveyor, a psycho psychologist, and the, the de facto leader and our narrator of the book, the biologist. So they go to this area and have to uh, kind of assess its survivability. And it's a series, so I probably am going to read the whole series, but I only have the first book right now, so Annihilation. Um, I also plan on starting a few of those series that I mentioned, again, in the linked below, Fall and Winter TBR. Uh, so I have the the first book of the Broken Edge, or the Broken World trilogy, and I also have the books, so I'm going to just go get it. Uh, so the fifth key season by M.K. Jemison, it's the Broken Earth trilogy, so I'll probably start this one or the Gentleman Bastard series. Uh, yeah, which is the Lies of Locke Lamora. Um, I'll read one of those, one of these two series as well. I'll get started with it. But I'm going to take a hot minute um, of a break and probably start these at the end of the month just because I uh, just finished all the things with Brandon Sanderson. It was a lot this year. And then I hope to pick up at some point as well the fifth book in The Wheel of Time. But that I think I'm going to push to January. So we're not going to talk about it too much right now. But... That is my TBR for December. Uh, hopefully everyone has a great time with their family this month and uh, or just a great holiday season and whatever semi-religious adjacent holiday you uh, celebrate. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you guys want to see any particular kind of content. I'm going to start working on some goal style videos for January and 2021. So thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.